What if losing weight came with an unexpected side effect? One that didn't just shrink your belly fat but actually altered your organs? Yes, you heard that right. New research into GLP, one drugs like Ozempic, Wegovy, and Manjaro is revealing something shocking. They don't just melt away fat. They may shrink your liver, alter your heart, reduce muscle mass, and even impact your pancreas. But is that dangerous? Helpful? Or just misunderstood? Today, we're diving deep into the underrated science of body composition and the controversial effects GLP-1s may have on the very organs keeping you alive. The rise of GLP-1s. GLP-1 receptor agonists were originally developed for type 2 diabetes, but their meteoric rise in the past few years has been driven by something else entirely, weight loss. Drugs like semaglutide, ozempic Wegovy, and terzepatide, Manjaro, Zepbound, trigger receptors in the brain and gut that regulate appetite, blood sugar, and insulin. They reduce hunger, slow digestion, and in many people lead to dramatic weight loss, sometimes over 20% of total body weight. Sounds amazing, right? But there's a catch. Because weight loss isn't always just fat loss. When you lose weight quickly, especially with appetite-suppressing drugs, you also lose lean mass, which includes not just muscle, but also organ tissue, fluid, and bone density. And that's where things get interesting and a little bit unsettling. What is lean mass? To understand how GLP-1s affect your body, we need to define what exactly is being lost. Your body is made of fat mass, body fat, subcutaneous, visceral, etc. Lean mass, everything else including muscles, because it's not just muscle at stake. We're talking about changes in organ volume, functionality, and tissue composition, particularly in organs like the liver, heart, and pancreas. So let's break it down. Organ by organ. The liver, a fatty problem solved? Let's start with the liver, one of the most affected organs during weight loss, a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, MEFLD. Now rebranded as MESLD, metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease, affects nearly one in three adults worldwide. It's when your liver gets overloaded with fat. GLP-1s are showing incredible results in shrinking fatty livers. White heavy checkmark studies using MRI scans show that semaglutide and terzepatide can reduce liver fat by over 30 to 50% in as little as 12 weeks. White heavy checkmark, a 2022 trial found terzepatide decreased liver volume significantly, likely by burning away stored fat. So yes, your liver may shrink on a GLP-1. But that's not bad. That's reversal of disease. Less fat in the liver means better metabolic health and lower risk of inflammation, fibrosis, and cirrhosis. In this case, smaller is healthier. But it's not always so simple. The heart, good news or overcorrection. Now let's talk about your heart. GLP-1 drugs have been hailed for their cardioprotective effects, lowering blood pressure, reducing inflammation, and improving cholesterol levels. But new studies show they may also lead to changes in heart size and structure. A 2023 study published in the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology found that GLP-1 therapy was associated with reduced left ventricular mass, the thick muscular wall that pumps blood. At first glance, this sounds bad. Shrinking heart tissue? But the context matters. In people with obesity-related heart hypertrophy, where the heart becomes enlarged and stiff, a reduction in ventricular mass can be beneficial. It's essentially reversing the damage caused by excess body weight and high blood pressure. So again, we're seeing organ shrinkage, but in a healing direction. Still, for people without existing heart issues, the long-term implications of a shrinking or remodeled heart aren't fully known. The pancreas, healing or stressing out. Next up, the pancreas, the organ that produces insulin, digestive enzymes, and more. GLP-1s directly interact with the pancreas by stimulating beta cells, which secrete insulin. This helps control blood sugar, which is great for diabetics. But there are mixed reports about what happens to the pancreas long-term. Test tubes Some animal studies have suggested beta cell proliferation. In other words, pancreatic growth. Test tube Other research suggests shrinkage in overall pancreatic size especially in people with type 2 diabetes undergoing rapid weight loss. A 2023 imaging study found volume reduction in the pancreas among GLP-1 users, 
but it's unclear if that's due to fat loss or something more structural. There's also a historical concern about pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas. With GLP-1s, although newer studies suggest the risk is small and mostly tied to other factors. Bottom line? The pancreas does change, but whether it's shrinking in a harmful or helpful way is still up for debate. Muscle mass and skeletal lean tissue. Now for a more serious issue, muscle loss. Multiple studies, including the landmark STEP and Surmount trials, have confirmed that 25 to 40 percent of the weight lost on GLP-1s is from lean mass, and a large chunk of that is skeletal muscle. Char decreasing that means smaller thighs, weaker arms, and possibly reduced basal metabolic rate BMR. Why does this matter? Because muscle is metabolically active. The more you have, the more calories you burn, even at rest. Muscle also protects against falls, improves insulin sensitivity, and supports organ function. Rapid muscle loss can lead to frailty, impaired immunity, poor glucose regulation, lower energy levels. Unfortunately, GLP-1s suppress appetite so much that many people eat far too little protein or calories to maintain muscle mass. This leads to the dreaded skinny fat syndrome, smaller on the outside, but with compromised strength and functionality. What you can do to protect yourself. If you're using GLP-1s or thinking about it, here are some actionable steps to protect your organs and lean mass. Weight loss is a tool, but it's not magic. An organ shrinkage? Sometimes it's a sign of healing, sometimes a red flag. You need to know the difference. So do GLP-1s shrink your organs? Yes, but not in the way you might think. They reshape your internal landscape, reversing fatty liver disease, remodeling heart mass, possibly altering the pancreas, and unfortunately, costing some lean muscle along the way. The real question isn't whether these drugs shrink your organs. It's whether we're prepared to support our bodies during the transformation. Because weight loss isn't the end goal. Vitality is.